Welcome to Simplify Academy's statistical question lesson for sixth grade math. We are going to look at statistical questions like the ones you see on the board here. And after we look at those statistical questions, we'll say whether they're statistical or not, define that, give some examples of it, and then play a game where you'll get the chance to decide if a question is statistical or non-statistical question. First off, the basic definition of a statistical question is this, which is kind of complex, and I will break it down a little bit. A statistical question anticipates a variability in the data. Variability means that it will vary or change, so it's anticipating or expecting some change in the data. Some basic points that help to illustrate this are that there's not going to be a single answer or a single data point. Also, the data often requires some calculations. Now, this is a lesson on statistics, so we are going to be talking about finding an average. So typically, if you need to calculate an average, then it is a statistical question, and we'll see a lot of those. So again, averages, generalizations that you need to calculate. If you have to um, gather together some data that's more than just one single point of data or something that might change, those are statistical questions. Now, given these three points, we're going to look at a couple of questions and say there are examples of statistical questions. First off, do boys eat more than girls? This is a statistical question because you would have to do some calculations. Now, it's also a very vague question. It's not a very good question, but you would have to, first off, define the terms boys and girls. Are we talking about a certain age group or certain location? Then you'd have to gather data on that and probably make an average of boys in this area at this age eat this much, girls in that same area at that same age eat this much, therefore we can make a generalization that boys eat more than girls. But again, there's a lot of math calculation and data gathering that would go into actually being able to answer this question. How many books fit on a bookshelf? The reason this one is a statistical question is because you don't know how thick the books are and you don't know what the size of a bookshelf. So again, you're gathering a lot of data. To be able to answer this way open-ended question, you would have to gather all kinds of data, make some averages, and then make a conclusion based on those averages or a generalization based on all sorts of data. How old are the people watching this video? Again you would have to gather the data for everyone who's watching this video and then take an average of their age and you'd be able to make some kind of a statement that people are on average between this age and this age or the average age is this. So you'd be able to figure that out and answer it, but it has to be more defined. You have to gather a bunch of data that's probably changing data points and you would have to make some averages or generalizations and now basically make some conclusions. Here are some examples of non-statistical questions. What color is my shirt? You could look at my shirt and you could tell exactly what color it is. So there's no kind of answers that you need to worry about like gathering data for. You don't need to find any averages. Um, there's no calculations required. It's just a single data point. Who is the richest person in the world in 2019? Now, while you do have to gather data for this, it is one correct answer. This person is the richest person in the world in 2019. It's a very specific question with a single answer. Therefore, um, it does not require statistics to answer it. Can I run 100 meters faster than my dog? This would be gathering two data points. I would run 100 meters, my dog would run 100 meters, and then you would say yes or no. But because the answer is so simple, it doesn't require any statistical analysis. 
Therefore, it is not a statistical question. You don't need to figure anything out. You just need to gather two points of data and say yes or no. I hope that's helped a little bit because now we're moving into our game show. Da -da -da. Welcome to Statistics or Not, Statistical or Not. This is the game show where you look at these questions and you ask or you answer if they are statistical or not. I want you to pause the video, take a minute to look through these questions that I've put here. I think there's eight statements. Go ahead and look at them and you determine if you feel they're statistical or not. And then I'm going to go through them and explain why I feel they are one or the other. Hey, welcome back. I hope you did that exercise. Basically, this exercise is going to reflect your worksheet. It's going to look very similar to the quiz. So I really hope that you took the time to practice that. Let's look through these. Question number one, how tall are the people in Canada? You would have to gather quite a bit of data and make some averages to be able to do this. Therefore, it is a statistical question. Question number one, woo, are mice smarter than cats? This question would require that you gather a whole bunch of data and make a conclusion based on it. Um, the, the data would definitely be a variable set of data because one mouse might be smarter than one cat, one cat might be smarter than one mouse, whatever. One cat might eat a mouse during the, the investigation, who knows? Question number three, what is the best car? This question I put in here because I'm going to just cancel it out of the whole list. This is an opinion question. If you said what's the fastest car or what is the most valuable car or something like that, then we could kind of look at it. This one you can't even measure. What is the best car? It's just an opinion question. And opinion questions, I are first off, they're definitely not statistical questions. They're just opinion questions. But I don't even think they should be on this list. So I put that in just as sort of something to throw it off because honestly, you can't you can't calculate this. You can't look at a single data point. It's it's largely up to opinion. All right. Sorry for that little trick question in there. In general, how much water does a person drink each day? Definitely a statistical question. You would need to gather data and work through the data, find averages. It does say in general, which helps us know we're making a generalization, um, which is definitely statistical. Is Mighty Mouse faster than Chester Cat running 100 meters? This one here is not a statistical question because it's you would gather that data from those two specific Mighty Mouse and Chester Cat and, and you would look at those two pieces of data and you'd be able to come to a conclusion immediately. It's not taking an average, it's not gathering a variable data, it's just gathering two data points and then making a conclusion which one is less. Is Kaz's IQ higher than Kyer's? These are two people, Kaz and Kyer. Is Kaz's IQ higher than Kyer's? That's a non-statistical question. You would have to gather the data, what's Kaz's IQ, what's Kyer's IQ, and then make a conclusion but you don't have to find an average or look at variable data, data that's changing. IQs are typically um, stay the same throughout your life. So the next one, does it snow more in Argentina or the United States? This is very much a statistical question. You would need to first off narrow it down probably like in a certain time period or in a certain region, but you're taking an average, right? Typically when you're talking about snowfall, you're talking about an average. If the question said, did it snow more in Argentina in the fall of 2015 than it did in the United States, then you'd be able to gather those two data pieces and just say one or the other. But because it's kind of open, like this, this would become a statistical question. You would need to gather the data forever and the amount it snows in Argentina varies and the amount it snows in the US varies. So you're gathering a varied amount of data over time, taking averages. Um, so this is definitely a statistical question. 
And the last question, do indie authors sell more books than published authors is another statistical question. You're going to have to gather large pieces of varied data, make a conclusion um, based on that data, and, and make some um, averages, generalizations. Because some indie authors or independently published authors sell a lot of books and some sell nearly none. And some published authors sell a lot of books, some sell almost next to none. So again, we've got data that's going to be ranging um, up and down. A couple things to remember. You do you need to calculate an average. If you do need to calculate an average, then it's going to be a statistical question. Does it have variable data? In other words, does the data vary? What color is my shirt? How tall am I? How tall am I? How old am I right now? Those things all have one answer, so it's not a variable piece of data. Does the ver data that you're collecting vary or does it change? And is there one single easy to get answer? And easy to get is kind of a little bit challenging to define. But there you go are some general ideas of ways that you can tell if a question is statistical or not. When you do practice questions, make sure to check out the video that shows the answers because when you go through the worksheet, it's helpful to see why I picked each as being statistical or not, not statistical. And then you'll be able to, to look through and see the reasoning for that if you did miss any of the questions on the worksheet. Other than that, good luck. I hope this video was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.